Now, Love Island star Mike Thalassitis has been found dead near his hometown in Essex. The 26-year-old rose to fame on the programme Love Island in 2017, where he became a TV sensation after his stint on the show. The former League One footballer, who comes from a Cypriot family, enjoyed a successful playing career before becoming a beloved reality star. He appeared on season three of Love Island in the summer of 2017. Well, let's get more from our correspondent, uh, Charlotte Gallagher. Uh, Charlotte, so just update us on what we know so far. We know so far that Mike Thalassitis was found dead in Essex on Friday. We believe in woods close to his home. That's what his management have confirmed. We've not heard anything from his family or, um, in fact, ITV that produced uh, Love Island so far. As you said, he was a semi-professional footballer before he had his reality TV stardom. He played for Stevenage and actually lots of clubs that he did play with throughout his career. They have been paying tribute tonight along with lots of people that appeared in reality television alongside him. Chris Hughes, who starred in Love Island with him, he was saying he was a great guy, gone far, far too soon. Jack Fincham, who won the last series of Love Island, he's been paying tribute as well. We've also heard from Caroline Flack, who is the presenter of Love Island, talking about what a gent Mike Thelitis was. And this, sadly, isn't the first tragedy to hit Love Island. Just in June last year, another former contestant was found dead in her home, Sophie Graydon. So a second death in less than 12 months associated with this programme. Um, do you know what's interesting is uh, that when you look at the flavour of reaction mm. coming out now on social media, like you said, Caroline Flack um, saying that, Mike, you were a total gentleman, I won't forget that. And then you start to see this emphasis, there's a... There's a there's an anger on mm. social media at the reference to his nickname from his fans. Uh, disrespect, a yeah. lot of people are saying. Just tell us the background to that. So when he was on Love Island, he became known as Muggy Mike because he was seen to be... He came, on, came in, basically, and threw a cat among the pigeons. He was this gorgeous man that so all the women going on Love Island, they were all kind of trying to play, trying to get him basically, and he did play them off against each other. So he got this nickname, affectionate nickname, Muggy Mike basically for mugging them off. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot of the people, a lot of journalists, a lot of newspapers that have tweeted about this story tonight. They've actually not included his full name. They've just called him Muggy Mike. Um, a lot of people who appeared with him on reality television, a lot of his fans are saying, that's respectful, you know, he's more than a nickname from a television programme. Uh, very quickly, how did he handle the fame? Well, he seemed to handle it really well. He went on Celebs Go Dating, which is another reality programme after Love Island. Seemed to really embrace it, had millions of fans on social media, doing club promotions, things like that, posing with his fans. So he seemed to really, really enjoy it and relish the spotlight. And very quickly, any reaction from the production company behind, behind Love Island? We've not heard anything so far. Um, when Sophie Graydon died, they did issue a statement very quickly, so I expect we will be hearing something tonight from ITV. Okay, Charlotte, you're watching the story for us. Thank you very much. Thank you.